might start my video a little late due to some technical issues, but here we go. I'm gonna play the C3 crap. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it all. All the main lines. I'm gonna learn this um, more boring variation, basically. Plan is just bishop d3, castles, bishop c2, d4, stuff like this. Get anything special for white? Not so much. My opponent is deep in thought. Uh, Alright, I'm just going to do this. d4 probably doesn't work so well. He can go d5 here. This is some top of off thing that I don't know about. I'll let him do whatever he has to do. You know, there's this Carlson top love game. I don't, I don't remember if it's exactly this position. But something to be concerned about. Oh, boy. Oh, excuse me. All right, I'll take it. Yes, D3. I develop normally. Ninety five Bishop A four. That looks annoying. I mean, who knows, maybe I should have won D four. Play a little more aggressively. While his king's in the center. Would have been interesting because I would have had ideas of D five and, and Bishop A four check. But this also seems solid. You know, I mean King has a little difficult decision to decide where to go. The guy's moving kind of slow. We won four games in a row, too. Just beat a Grandmaster in our last game, so... I mean, a high-rated one. Good. Mm, this move doesn't scare me very much. F4 looks reasonable. I don't know, is he going to go Bishop H6 or something? Surprising move. Uh... Knight d2, probably. Now what? Is he gonna go castles? I'm sorry I keep yawning. I'm so rude. But I just don't know what else to do. Because <laughs> I need to yawn. Uh, I'm gonna castle. Both castle queenside somehow. Position looks fine for black, but I'm up on time. Which is good news for me. And I'm going to hopefully use that to my advantage. I'm going to go like King B1. I'm just going to chill out here. I mean, I'm up I'm up almost two minutes now. So this is a weird move. I'm going to play this, I guess. It's one of those positions where I kind of like knights. But I'm just... Um, I have to be a little careful with like moves like knight e4. But I don't, I don't think it works. Hmm. That's a bad bishop. I should have... I'm going to keep this bishop. Keep his bishop, basically. Seven. Start with this move. I don't know why. I gotta get my queen out of the way, man. But... A4 good or risky? It's probably risky. I want to get my knight out of this pin. It is really pathetic, but uh, I would like to get a knight to d5, but it's not so easy. I probably should have taken this knight when I had the chance. That was a missed opportunity because knights are better than bishops here, I think. And his bishop, his dark square bishop's not great, you know. Um, blocked by his own pawns. But again, I have a big edge in the clock, which will be very useful. I'm thinking of stuff like g3, knight h4 next, going for the f5 square. I still think my position is fine. A knight h4 does allow him to trade the bishop for it, but I think it's okay in this case. Um, go g3. And next move, I'm pretty sure knight h4. I'll do it even though he gets to trade his bishop. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. 
Maybe I should have went like knight e2 or something. Hmm. I oh, see the other bishop's like stronger one. I'm kind of thinking about knight f5. Ah, why not? Only live once. Fix his knight a little bit. Um, I was gonna go knight e4 and then knight f. Hold on. Big time edge. Big time edge. I'm gonna do this. We'll figure out the rest later. Go e4. No, and he can't go d5 because I take him c. I'm just gonna do this. Attack h1. And g4. Mm. Take the h pawn, I guess. Oh, in time, so you probably didn't see it because of that. I guess he's gonna take my bishop. He can't go d5 still because of his pawn on c5. Oh, big edge in the clock. I'm just gonna go queen f3. Uh, his bishop stucks. Much better. I'm up a pawn. Threatening like knight c5 type stuff. Do I think with a pawn or the queen? I think queen is like more safe somehow. I don't know why though. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Stops d5 again. Uh, I, pr I might go c4 to stop him from going d5. Or no, I'm gonna go back here. Also stops d5. I, I don't know why I didn't go like... Oh, he did it anyway. Uh, so risky. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take this. And then I'm just going to go take a chip or two first. I'm just doing that to gain time. I'll pray next move at four. Maybe not. Maybe rook h1. One. Rook e1. Get an open file for my rook here. Oh, now f4. Like everything's. F6. I'm gonna. Wrong, probably. Rook h1. Annoying. A pawn still, yeah. My plan is rook h6. G7, rook g6. F7. I'm gonna bring my king to e4. We're just gonna chill out here with our big time advantage. maybe not like super ideal what I'm doing. Bring my rook around a a he also has ten seconds left so chatting the GG WP You know this game was not super exciting. I was just way up on time. So I was able to play like a kind of conservative style. Like this G5 is, is interesting. It reminds me of how Topolov beat Carlson. But I, I don't know if it's exactly theory here. But it's certainly interesting. I could have won D4 instead. Uh, see what the computer says. I don't like it that much. Yeah, I went D3. Position's fine for both sides, actually. D5 is an interesting idea. One thing I did think though is, yeah, I think I should have just snapped this off. Played like king h1 or bishop b3 and controlled this, these light squares. I think I would have a nice edge here. Um, but I'm not sure about king b1. I don't know. I think from a practical standpoint, it's easier for white to play. However, I did this. The computer likes this better, so what do I know? Thinks I should have taken his bishop though. Um. Yeah, 
I mean, I just played it like real slow. I tried to like delay the delay the action. Like the longer you can delay something from happening when your opponent's low on time, they eat up more and more time trying to figure out what's going to happen and when and where. And so I just wanted to delay anything because it was good for me. I was kind of just shuffling around a little bit. It looked pretty nice for me though. This is E4 square for my knight. Played it, right? You can't go d5. Uh, yeah, it's just like an unpleasant position. Attacking his h pawn. And I think because he was low on time, he didn't even see it. Like, I was thinking about g4, g5 ideas in the future. It just seemed a bit unpleasant for him. If he doesn't go h4, I'm just going to win the pawn. You know, honestly, I played this game pretty, pretty decently. I probably should take him with the f pawn. I mean, my pawn structure is a little better this way, but what I did was fine. What did I miss? Queen h6 is winning? Oh, when he moves the bishop, I take the pawn. I just didn't see it. Yeah, I just have to be careful here not to, like, let him simplify too much. But if he takes my f-pawn, I take his d-pawn. I played a few checks to make him think, lose more valuable time. Move was fine. Rook h1 was fine. I mean, yeah, I mean, he was just in trouble the whole time. I played a pretty decent game for Blitz, you know? Didn't do anything crazy and just use the, the clock and my position to slowly win. Not exciting, but how you win chess games sometimes. So, thanks for watching. I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.